I think the big thing I would have done differently, knowing what we know now, would be focusing earlier on on one thing. Started off with just a small range of products that we designed, myself and my brother Anthony designed, um, and it was real hit and miss. You know, the business sort of lurched from profit to loss over the first couple of years, cash was tight. We had a relationship with a retailer in the UK we were selling chopping boards to, said, I am the kitchenware buyer. I, do, I buy chopping boards, guys. If you just do chopping boards and more chopping boards, I'll buy them from you. And it was that moment when we were like, actually, that's what we'll do. And as soon as we did that, we sort of got, became more efficient and more successful and the business started to grow. Be good at one thing, better than anybody else, and uh, make a success out of that. I think I'd see myself as an entrepreneur, but you know, invention is very much part of what we do. It means that we are great problem solvers. The belief that we can solve that problem as a team in going beyond the point where we think our competitors would say, enough, we're gonna pull the brakes on it. And so we go beyond that in time, investment, etc., to try and find the really unique ideas. It's that persistence which is key. Um, and so that flows right the way through to our the guys that run our warehouses, the team that look after the manufacturing, um, the engineering team, but we then try and execute really well, as fast as possible, um, and, and sort of take it from there. So that's sort of, it's a bit of both, I think. We're ultimately, we're designer makers, that's our strength. We recognize that that's what we're good at, that's what we love doing. We're not retailers, um, and that's a different skill set. So. We want to work with the best retailers in the world who do it really, really well, understand that that's their strength, understand what ours are, and, then, and, and we think that that's the right business model for us. Instead of opening a store on a high street, why not spend that money, that investment, back on R&D, trying to find a big idea, which is the bit we love.